An Albuquerque family had a terrifying moment at the biopark today after a peacock attacked their little boy. Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain spoke to the boy's father, who is upset about the way the zoo handled the situation. They are beautiful creatures known for their glossy, colorful coats. But when male peacocks are trying to mate with their feathers on full display, they're easily agitated. And at Albuquerque's Biopark. He just happened to be the one that got jumped on. This toddler got a little too close for the bird's comfort. He has his head and he has a super big gash on top. 20 month old Tristan was clawed in the forehead. The peacocks here at the Biopark are free roaming birds. And that's why there are signs saying don't chase them. The zoo is their home. But Tristan's dad says his son was not doing anything wrong, just posing for a photo. And he thinks the zoo could have handled things better. They don't have a first aid station. The security office uh, has a first aid kit. He was taken uh, immediately to our first aid station up in front uh, where the security office is. So that was. Uh, Couple minute walk. Zoo manager Lynn Tupa says, unfortunately, this has happened before, at least a few times a year, and minor cuts can be treated at the biopark. Tupa says, after the latest incident, they're thinking they may stop letting the peacocks roam free, even though they're extremely popular. She's just warning everyone keep a safe distance. Laura Turing, KOAT Action 7 News. Two of the children who survived a fall from a cherry picker.